Hello, can you believe the movie The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance was released 61 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now? Who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. James Stewart was born on May 20th, 1908 in Indiana, Pennsylvania, USA. He portrayed the character Ransom Stoddard in the film when he was 54 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1997, he passed away at the age of 89, leaving us deeply saddened. Well, uh, Hallie? Go right ahead, Hallie. You... Now, I have here what I think the best textbook in the world. It's an honest newspaper. This is... I was determined to get a flight on one day because every once in a while they'd land. The Bennetts had a farm right south of town and a nice big field with... Andy Devine was born on October 7, 1905, in Flagstaff, Arizona, USA. He portrayed the character Link Appleyard in the film when he was 57 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1977, he passed away at the age of 71, leaving us to be saddened. As long as he behaves himself in this town, I ain't got no... Uh, jurisdiction. Yeah, what he said is right, I ain't got... Thank you very much. Well, Andy, I'm sorry I got you confused with uh, with Gene Autry. No, that's wonderful because there's so many people... Uh... I think they do, don't they? Vera Miles was born on August 23, 1929, in Boise City, Oklahoma, USA. She portrayed the character Halle Stoddard in the film when she was 33 years old in 1962. She is now living happily at the age of 93. Well, I never had the school and that's why not. The nature of Hitchcock's set does not lend itself to people becoming acquainted. I'm not. Jeanette Nolan was born on December 30th, 1911, in Los Angeles, California, USA. He portrayed the character Nora Erickson in the film when he was 51 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1998, he passed away at the age of 86, leaving us deeply saddened. I don't want you doing any heavy lifting while we're gone. Just leave everything where it is. I'll straighten it up when I get back. You always do, Charlie. Now mind you, don't forget dinner. And John Wayne was born on May 26, 1907, in Winterset, Iowa, USA. He portrayed the character Tom Donovan in the film when he was 55 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1979, he passed away at the age of 72, leaving us deeply saddened. That pilgrim, you can... Eat here until you get back on your feet. If my credit's still good, Nora. Where <laughs> y'all, Tom? And uh, cut through all the hypocrisy, the phoniness, and, and get right to the... Strother Martin was born on March 26, 1919, in Kokomo, Indiana, USA. He portrayed Floyd in the film when he was 43 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1980, he passed away at the age of 61, leaving us deeply saddened. Show's over for now. More than any other movie uh, that I've been in, I think most people don't know my name. And sometimes people say, oh sure you know him, don't you remember? Lee Marvin was born on February 19, 1924, in New York City, USA. He portrayed the character Liberty Valance in the film when he was 38 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1987, he passed away at the age of 63, leaving us deeply saddened. Bing. Now you stay out of this, Donovan. He's been hiding behind your gun long enough. You got a choice, dishwasher. Either you get out of town, or tonight you'll be out in that street alone. It's never a difficult scene. He'd always shoot it at the end of the day. <clears throat> so uh, he'd break for tea about four. And he'd say, all right, now we're going to do John Carradine was born on February 5th, 1906, in New York City, USA. 
He portrayed the character Major Cassius Starbuckle in the film when he was 57 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1988, he passed away at the age of 82, leaving us deeply saddened. The territorial delegate to the Congress of the United States, the Right Honorable... The reason why I prefer to work in the theater is because by and large the material is better mm -hmm. than it is in pictures or TV. Did you enjoy the horror? Edmund O'Brien was born on September 10, 1915, in Brooklyn, New York, USA. He portrayed Dutton P. Paddy in the film when he was 47 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1985, he passed away at the age of 69, leaving us deeply saddened. What are you talking about? I might as well let you know now. That day he decided to commit. John Quaylen was born on December 8, 1899, in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. He portrayed the character Peter Erickson in the film when he was 63 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1987, he passed away at the age of 87, leaving us deeply saddened. I'll be waiting for you if you need me. Go, Rance. Go now while you can. Nora and Halley can finish. Woody Strode was born on July 25, 1914, in Los Angeles, California, USA. He portrayed Pompey in the film when he was 48 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1994, he passed away at the age of 80, leaving us deeply saddened. Keep in touch with you, Pompey. I promise. I want to put Mr. Rance's pork chop money. Ken Moray was born on July 14, 1903, in New York City, USA. He portrayed the character Doc Willoughby in the film when he was 59 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1988, he passed away at the age of 85, leaving us deeply saddened. <laughs> Did you know that Liberty Valance is in town tonight? I'd be a poor newspaper man indeed if I didn't know what everybody else... Denver Pyle was born on May 11, 1920, in Bethune, Colorado, USA. He portrayed the character Amos Caruthers in the film when he was 42 years old in 1962. We regret to inform you that in 1997, he passed away at the age of 77, leaving us deeply saddened. Yeah. I know that them songs has been a long time dream of yours. Let me know who's your favorite character from the movie The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance and share your thoughts on the deceased actors by leaving your comments under this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you next time.